Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to greener and cleaner beauty, and today I'm back with a product review for this guy. It's the Honest Get It Together palette. Get it together. <sighs> I don't know about that phrase. I'm gonna tell you all about it. I'm gonna go through the scorecard, give you my final verdict, and let's just dive into it. Here we go. Okay, so, this palette, this palette, let's just do a quick rundown, shall we? It is $19.99. There are 10 day to night copper to berry shades inside. It has five shimmer shades and five satin shades. Shadows in this palette have a velvety texture, rich pigment, and are meant to complement every eye color. Let's see if it actually followed through on all that. So first up, Ingredients. Pretty good, couple of iffy ones, I mentioned them below. Check out EWG, it's not the end all be all, but it is a good starting point. How was color payoff? That's a big one here. So I swatched it and when I was swatching it, you can tell pretty quickly with shadows now that I've tried a bunch of them. If you start on the swatch and then, you know, even if you get enough on your finger, it shears out really fast it's usually not going to provide that whoa pigment. So overall, I gave it a three out of five on the scorecard there. I felt like there was some solid pigment. I just didn't feel like it was the wow, amazing payoff that I've seen from some other palettes, namely the Fit Glow palette was very impressive. Aether, very impressive. Both were significantly more expensive than this. Overall, I think it did a very good job. I think you can build, I think you can use primers. I don't think you always have to pay the money to get the super duper duper pigment payoff in Green Beauty, but you know, there are ways and tricks to work with this. You can wet the brush, that actually helps quite a lot, but anyway. Three out of five on the scorecard. Application, is it velvety and smooth? Was there any fallout? When I was applying this, as soon as I put my brush onto the satin shades, it was okay. There was a little bit of um, kickback in the actual pan. You can kind of see. But when I put it into the metallic, it crumbled quickly. It crumbled pretty, not fully crumbled. I say the word crumbled, but it sort of scattered quickly. So it's not as pressed. If it's not smooth when you put it on the brush, it's not going to apply as smoothly on your face because it's already separated a little bit. I think it did an okay job there. Got a three out of five overall there. So middle of the road almost. Is it non-irritating? I had no problems here. I do not see ingredients that are like massive red flags for potential allergens or potential irritants. Again, check out the list for yourself because what irritates my skin is probably different from what would irritate yours but overall it received a five out of five on the scorecard did this crease i did not find it to crease do prime the lids with a little bit of powder sometimes concealer usually concealer then powder i have used lid primer still it didn't crease for me that wasn't an issue if you do have oily lids i would recommend priming it got a four out of five on the scorecard did the color last all day it did it really hold up all day? Now in the product description, does it say in all fairness, this is color that's going to last the entirety of your day? No, I always want something that we're not gonna have to reapply midway through the day. So it lasted, I would say, throughout most of the day, but by the time night rolled around, it had sort of just blended into itself. A lot of this also depends on your skin type, your lifestyle, stuff like that. But for me, when I use the kind of berry colors, it really really just kind of faded away by the end of the day. It was still there, but it was just very sheer. It was like, oh, okay. We got a three out of five on the score. Last question, is this a consciously created product? So cruelty free. Yes. Micah, I've asked them if it's responsibly sourced. I haven't heard back. I, I am waiting to hear back. They're not very responsive. I gotta email them again. And then the packaging, there's a mirror in here, so it's not easily recyclable for a consumer or for a recycling facility. And by the way, recycling is not the end all be all here zero waste would be better, but I'm still figuring that out myself. So overall, got a three out of five on that answer. That seems to be a very common answer because people are covering that cruelty-free vegan element, organic, all the rest of it, but packaging is just not where it needs to be. However, I am reading a lot of articles out there that are talking about brands and consumers telling brands that they are demanding better packaging. There's a lot of stuff going on, which makes me feel hopeful. I just wish it would move faster, but that's just me. And the total score here is a 21 out of 30. It did a great job overall in terms of this price point. $19.99 is a very good price point for all of these shadows. You do get half and half matte and shimmer. If you're cool with shimmer, then this is okay. If you're cool with matte, then this is okay. If you don't want shimmer, obviously look elsewhere. I will go down the list of what they claimed this product would do to see if it actually did what it said it would do. So they mentioned that, that these are blendable neutral eyeshadows. Yeah, they blend. Yeah, they're pretty 
neutral. Neutral is a very interesting word to use because on fairer skin types, this is gonna show up as neutral. Darker skin types, this might not even show up. Using that word is kind of tricky. It doesn't really mean a lot to a lot of the population. So anyway, I'll get off that sofa. Then talks about velvety texture. I did not feel a velvety texture here. I didn't, no. And rich pigment. I do feel like certain shades do have more intense saturation and pigment than others. Overall though, I think there was a nice pigment. It just payoff wasn't as high as I would want it to be since I've tried things that have like insanely good payoff. Compliments every eye color. Don't know how I'm gonna test that. <laughs> it worked for mine, it was fine. Overall verdict, would I recommend this? I would absolutely recommend this. I think that this is a solid palette. I think if you are a, if you are very big into eyeshadow, you need it to pop. You will cut your crease. You will want to blend and layer and smoke it out and not even have to deal with the extra techniques. Then this is not for you. You're going to want to invest in something else if you can. If you can't, or if you really don't, you shadow that much and you're like, I mean, I use it every now and then. This I think is a really great palette to have on hand and this way you're not buying one pot at a time. So it kind of just depends on where you're at. Overall though, I would recommend it. I am a fan of the palette and I will be using it going forward even though it is not my number one favorite. I don't have one favorite by the way because that always leads to you asking that question. However, I am launching a full-on Brits Picks shop on the site. So you can check it out. It's really more of a sharing space. It's not a shop, but you can click and shop or you can check out the reviews for just my personal favorites. That's all I have for the Honest Get It Together palette for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up to support the channel. And as always, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another video like this one. If you have a friend that is freaked out and overwhelmed about switching from toxic, harmful makeup to cleaner alternatives, and they're like, what do I do? Please share my channel or my website or my free guide with them. I wanna make sure that I help people. It's actually very doable. So sharing is caring, send it out there, send some love, and I thank you for that as well. I'm going to go play with this palette and I will see y'all right back here real soon. Until then, bye.